In this video, we're going to learn how to find missing volumes and missing side lengths in 3D figures when they are similar. The rule is, if two, the volume of two similar solids compare according to the ratio m over n, so just two numbers, then the corresponding edge lengths compare to the according to the ratio of m over n square, cubed. Sorry. So if you are given a side length ratio and you want a volume ratio, you're going to cube it. If you're giving a volume ratio, you want to find a side length ratio, you're going to cube root it, the inverse of it. Some of these examples you may be given the volume, and some you may have to find on your own. And it just depends on what you're looking at. So in this example here, number three, given that sphere M and sphere R have radii, have a radii ratio of M over R or six over seven. If the volume of the sphere M is 216 cubic feet, find the volume of the R sphere. So you have to find the volume in this case. So I think the units for volume, if I'm not mistaken, are going to be cubic feet at the very end. This right here, even though it's a 3D figure and the radii is inside the sphere, is a single dimension ratio. What we call it the side length ratio for polygons. So if you're given this, a length ratio, and you want to turn it into a volume ratio, because you're finding volume here, you need to cube it. That means the power of three, so six cubed over seven cubed. Six cubed ends up getting you 216. Seven cubed is 343. So this is now your volume ratio. So you're going to use this to find the missing volume. They tell you sphere M has a volume of 216. M was initially on top, so therefore 216 cubic feet goes on top as well. Find the volume of R. R originally on the bottom, so keep R on the bottom here. Call it x. Cross multiply and solve. You get 216x equals 216 times 343, 74,088. Divide both sides by 216. X is going to be 343 cubic feet. So the volume of the larger sphere. The one in the denominator here is going to be 343 feet, cubic feet, sorry. So to go from length to volume, you're going to cube it. If you had to go backwards, like an example on the back of the sheet, you know, volume to length, you would have to cube root it, which is the inverse. So in case you're wondering what it looks like, this is a cubing X or cubing a number. Cube rooting looks like a square root, but the index of the, the radical is three. And you're telling the calculator or whatever you're using to calculate, define the number when you repeat it three times the multiplication multiplies to whatever number is on the inside. So let's look at example one here. Given cube A and cube B have a volume ratio of 125 to 216, if the edge of cube A is a or 15 centimeters, find the edge of cube B. So edge for a 3D figure means length. So you're finding a length here. They give you a volume ratio, cube A and cube B. Notice how it's not written as a fraction. You can write it as a fraction, or you can write it as with, with a colon symbol there. It's important to know that cube A comes before cube B. So this is going to be cube A, the first number. And cube B is the second number, in case you're concerned about which one's labeled which. So if I have this volume ratio, and I'm asked to find the edge or a length, I need to take this and turn it into a length ratio or a side length ratio. So I'm going to cube root it. I'm going to cube root it. Now in the calculator, the TI-84s we use here, you press the math button, which is right there. And option number four is your cube root. So you can press the number four or you can arrow down to it. Type in the number you want to cube root. So I want to cube root 125 and I want to cube root 216. 
So the cube root of 125 is 5. And the cube root of 216 is 6, I do believe. Yes. So this is your length ratio right here. So if you have a missing length, like we do here, edge of QB, we have X and 15. So this is, X will be your missing side for QB. 15 is the given side length. A, cube A, the edge, that number is on top. It was to the left here. So 15 goes with 5. That means X, the edge of QB, goes with 6. I'm going to cross multiply and solve here. You know, 5x equals 90. 5 times x, 6 times 15. Divide both sides by 5. x will be equal to 18. And this is going to be centimeters, because it is a length. And it was given up there in centimeters. Not a volume, it is a length, so it's a single dimension unit. Very similar to the area proportions. It's you know, instead of square or square rooting, here it's cube or cube rooting because we're dealing in a third dimension, volume. Area was two dimensions, so it's a square or square root, and volume, three dimensions, cube or cube root, so powers of three. So remember to look for what you're asked to find. You need to find that kind of ratio by either cube or cube rooting the given ratio, and then set up the proportion, solve, and then very importantly, give the correct units. Don't tell me it's cubic centimeters when you're finding a length and vice versa.